hey loves welcome back to my channel in this video i will be showing you guys how i achieve these beautiful soft locks on my friend and client so if you would like to see that please stay tuned and if you're new to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe So I did use six packs of the new locks in 18 inch, the color 27, and the price for this hair in Mississippi is $7.98. For the distressed look, I did use Passion Twist 18 inch and number 27. And of course, I did use Shiny Jam. I always use this on my clients and I love this product. Of course, got to be glued spray, love it. Super glued to seal the ends when I attach the um, 18 inch lock to the other lock. And of course I use scissors, crochet needle, a comb and edge brush. So with that being said guys, let's get started. I did section her hair off into four sections and I will begin to start applying the plaits to her hair. Okay, first thing I do guys is I crochet the new lock through the braid on my client's hair. I pull it through. I'm sorry you guys cannot see that part, but of course I'm pulling it through the plait. And I will remove the crochet needle and open the lock with my fingers and pull the lock through. Do not pull the braid through, just the lock. Eventually you guys will see a better angle. I'm sorry you guys cannot see this because my fingers and arm and everything is in the way, but you'll be able to see it soon. So now I begin to unravel the passion twists. You want to unravel at the end. Start at the end and work your way down. Because if not, the lock will get matted up and nappy and it'll be a disaster and you will not be able to use it. So untwist the lock gently, gently as possible. And once you do that, you will separate the lock into two sections and you will use one section for one lock. So here you will um, have one piece longer than the other and the shorter piece will go into your right hand, well whichever hand the braid and the lock is in and you will start twisting with the longer side and you will need to twist at least three or four times at the root. And disregard my son, he is kind of crazy, but you, you will twist three or four times at the roots and then start to work your way down. And then once I pass my client's natural hair, I will start um, loosening up so, because we want to go with a distressed look.
Of course, once you um, pass your client's natural hair and you twist down a bit further, um, you do want to seal the ends. Well, what I do, I seal the ends with nail glue and I twist the remainder of the passion twist hair and then I rub the lock into my hands so I can seal and lock everything into place and you're good to go. All right guys, so to extend the lock, I do use a rat tail comb to open the end of the lock and split it into two, as you guys see here. Now, I will grab the new lock that I will add onto this lock and I will use my crochet needle and crochet through the new lock. And then I will crochet one side of the lock that's already in my client's hair and crochet the new lock through there. Bam. Then I will put a, about three or four knots into it just to secure it and make sure that, you know, it's attached. Okay, so now I give it a little tug and make sure that it is secured on there. So the remaining piece of the lock that's hanging, I will twist up on one side and down on the other side, but make sure it's going in the direction of the lock. Okay, after that, I will grab my nail glue and I will dab a little nail glue on there. And then I will just rub the lock into my hands. Bam, bam, bam. Make sure it's secured and it is locked in there.
all right guys this is the end of my video let me know what you guys think about this look and also if you're new to my channel do not forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video all right guys with that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for watching see you guys in the next one